The rumors of Sophia's revenge have made global news. All puzzle lovers and riddle solvers are encouraged to stay inside. Do not, I repeat, do not solve puzzles. Resist the urge to set your own booby trap. Wait a minute. I thought our expert solvers were pure of heart. Oh, my lanta. <laughs> no one outsmarts me. I'll get them this time. Did your last escape actually manage to rattle Sophia's evil nerves? It looks like she's found her next victim's house. Yours! And rumor has it she's on to your plan. Luckily, you've gathered your troops ahead of time. Knowing that Sophia won't be able to resist an attack with so many expert solvers in one room. Even better, I'll wipe them all out at once. Sophia listens in on your conversation. A man is in a heated argument with two others in what sounds like a crowded room of expert solvers. She must be stopped. She's already killed so many expert solvers. We need to go into hiding. We can't outsmart the mastermind. Even though they're all speaking at the same volume, Sophia can only hear one voice at a time. Why? You know how you tell if someone's a psycho? Forget the psychopathy test. No, no. It's if they love this weather. First, Ice Island. Now she's hunting in the snow. What sane person chooses to sh sh shiver? The man is a puppeteer. Genius. They're finally catching up to Sophia and her mastermind ways. That's too less, but still good enough. As Sophia lights a match, a net drops on top of her, trapping her in place. It's the expert solvers. You did it. You've gotten ahead for once. Victory. Mastermind, are you sure this is her? Not much of a mastermind if you ask me. You think you're so clever. You've played right into my plans. Ha, that knife won't work. This net is made of a thin wire mesh. Riddle me this. What comes once a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? You know, before I was a famous voice actor, I worked as a ventriloquist. It was all good until the dummy started talking back in his own voice. That'll still give me the creeps. <laughs> yeah. The letter M. What did you think it would be? Your escape? Ha! We're never letting you get away. Ooh, paper airplanes. I wonder what it says. I have five letters. You can remove my first or last letter, or even both, and I'm still the same. You can also take out the middle letter. I remain unchanged. You can even remove all my letters, and I'm still the same. What am I? You know, I'm starting to think the expert solvers have been the evil masterminds all along. Their riddles seem way more difficult than Sophia's. Shut up, you fool. So sensitive, jeez. Empty? That's right, expert solvers. You've wasted your one shot. Thwarted by a silly paper airplane. <laughs> your riddles might be better, but she's still got a trick or two up her sleeve. It's not too late to go into hiding. Run while you can! You have been killed. Again? This time, you were killed in your lab while working on a powerful new poison. But none of its components were found in your blood. The police found a test tube you must have prepared just before dying. In it was phosphorus, oxygen, iodine, sulfur, osmium, nitrogen, and lithium, iridium, lutetium, yttrium. Weird. This is neither a poison nor an antidote. Let's question your four colleagues on what they know 
and what they are working on. Albert. Phosphorus, oxygen, and iodine? Was he trying to create an atomic bomb? I only work on a poison to kill cockroaches, but it would never harm a human being. Jody. Sulfur, osmium, and nitrogen? Uh, yes, I work with these to kill weeds, but in gas form, not liquid. Trust me, if there was a leak, you'd smell it. Lily. Lithium and iridium? Was he trying to make a radioactive battery or something? I'm working on inventing the strongest poison ever to create an antidote to all poisons. Yes, it makes sense. Sylvia Hawkeye. Lutetium and yttrium? I never worked with these components. I'm trying to find a cure for bird flu. Yes, I do have birds of prey contaminated in my lab, but they can't open doors. They're not exactly raptors, you know. Who did it? Did you know that raptor literally means bird of prey? You might need to brush up your Jurassic Park for this one. And that cockroaches can survive an atomic blast? Or maybe none of it is relevant because it was? Lily. The clue was in the ingredients. Take the first letter of each component and it spells poison lily. Now, why couldn't you just write that down? Maybe the killer was still in the room. Though Lily escapes before the police arrest her, Sylvia Hawkeye is hot on her tail. A poison that's an antidote to all poisons sounds too good to be true. But Lily captures Sylvia and blindfolds her. She offers her four pills. Two red with a deadly poison and two blue with a weaker one. She's dead set on proving her theory that a stronger poison can serve as an antidote for a weaker one. The trick is, Sylvia can only swallow two pills. If she chooses two blue, she dies. Two red, she dies. One of each, she lives, but will probably have a tummy ache. How can she be sure to choose the right pills while blindfolded? What if she just takes one pill and follow the white rabbit? What do you mean we can't make Matrix references in 2018? There is no spoon, I tell ya! Sylvia just needs to break each pill in half and then swallow a half. No matter what, she'll ingest one red pill and one blue pill and be fine. Minus the tummy ache. Now, convinced a strong poison is an antidote to a weaker poison, Lily decides to push the torture <clears throat> tests a little further. Because, you know, she's insane. Both Lily and Sylvia have an hour to create the strongest poison possible. They will each drink the other person's poison first and then their own. Only the person who drinks the weakest poison first and then the strongest poison will survive. How can Sylvia survive this poisonous ordeal? Maybe she can MacGyver her way out of this and create a bomb with some gum, a paperclip, and some acid. What would you do? Have you found the solution? Pun intended. Sylvia should intentionally make a weak poison and secretly drink it first, and then give a glass of water to Lily. Then when Sylvia drinks the strongest poison from Lily, she will cure herself. Lily. 
Lily will have only drank water. So her strong poison would kill her. Because, you know, poison. That is if her theory checks out. Which it probably doesn't because, you know, poison. And make sure to click the red button and subscribe to our Riddle Me This channel. Riddle!